Hello friends, wizards, witches and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. <sighs> okay, so today we are going to be unboxing the Gobstone Alley flying parcel from August. <laughs> We will touch on that in a moment, but I really want to dive straight on into it. So if you're brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you'd like to become part of our weird, magical online family. Right, now, I feel as though I can't start this unboxing without addressing one or two things. Obviously, this box of Gobstone Alley is from August, and as you are aware, it is October now. I have also been kept in the dark for a couple of months since August, uh, same as you guys, same as all their customers. There's no, like, special treatment. I have been in silence, and I've also done all of my waiting in Azkaban, just like everyone else has ordered boxes from Gobstone Alley. Um, one thing I will say is, I have recently heard from them and they had to change their headquarters. They've been having a really rough time and I know that isn't our fault or their customers fault, but I think it's just they've got unlucky and that's why all this mess has happened. But I think they're sorting it out now. So let's just wipe the slate clean and move forward. That's what I'm going to do. But hey, enough of that. They're coming. All of their boxes from August have been shipped and they're shipping their September ones soon too. So let's open it, shall we? So the Gobstone Alley flying parcel from August. You guys know how this box looks by now. Uh, let's get on opening it, shall we? Do -do -do -do. Oh, so as we open, you have a red tissue paper. I'm not sure if everyone gets red with these boxes or if it's because I'm a Gryffindor. I'm just gonna go with Gryffindor because why not? So on top, ooh, okay, so sneak peeks. Obviously we have to start with this wearable item on top and as per usual I'm gonna show you guys first. What does it look like? <laughs> okay, well I already know that it's an Arthur Weasley quote because it has a rubber duck on there. So it says, I'm just here for Muggle Studies project trying to figure out what exactly is the function of a rubber duck. There you go, you can see the whole t-shirt design. Personally, I'm not sure if I would wear this t-shirt but I do love the humor of it. So maybe I will stick this in my giveaway box. But either way, it's super, super cute. The little duck is adorable, the print on here is actually brilliant. I am loving this print. It's not that kind of crinkly print that kind of wrinkles when you sit down. This is actually really lovely print. So great start. Let's move on because I can see something shiny and gold. In fact, I also see a bow baton pin. Now I love Fleur. I love her outfit, her hat. I just love everything about it. So this is the school crest, which I think is really cool. I actually love powder blue as well. It matches my nails. So I'm really pleased about that. You can never have enough pin badges if you ask me. Right, what is this golden wonder? Oh, so it's in this little kind of bag and inside, this is quite heavy which is unusual. I can't explain it. It's not like one of those hollow eggs. So it says, take a bath and take the egg with you. I mean, I'm not sure that I really want to open this now. Does it smell like anything? Do I have to put it in a bath? I feel like it's a bath thing. I will come back to this item later because if it is for the bath and it's not meant to be opened, not in a bathroom, I don't want to do it here, but that's really cool, so this is very much Goblet of Fire themed so far, which is pretty cool. So what else have we got in here? I believe this might be this month's candle, or August's candle. <laughs> so let's open it again, they're using their really, really eco-friendly packaging, which I am so pleased about, because back in the day when they used bubble wrap, um, Oh my goodness, this is my favorite candle that they have come out with. You know how I was saying about the Beaubatons being my favorite. Oh my God. So it says Academy de Beaubaton and it's the blue color that their uniform is. Oh, oh my God, it has flowers. It has beautiful blue petals. Oh my God. Yes, this is the best candle that they've done guys. It's very floral, it's pretty. 
Oh, yes, that's it. kind of exactly how I would imagine Fleur to smell, to be honest. That's really, really beautiful. I'm definitely gonna save this one. This is absolutely stunning. I am chuffed to bits about this candle. They just keep coming out with really good candle ideas and scents, and they're definitely one of my favorite things. <laughs> Again, I've still got so many candles now, and I don't wanna burn them because they're so pretty, so I'm just gonna end up overloaded with candles. But let's move on. Uh, let's take some of these wiggly ones out of the box and see what is left so we've still got quite a few things in here <gasps> I can see something very cool indeed which I'm going to bring out next this is a tin which is licensed and it says Ollivanders makers of fine ones since 382 BC and is there anything in it? No. So I believe this is a pencil case. That's really lovely. You could use this to put jewelry in, to put, I don't know, any little bits and bobs that you have that need a home. I think that's really, really sweet. I love Ollivanders. I love the aesthetic of that store. So that's really cool and it's great that it's licensed. So lovely. What is this? So there is something black, which I believe is a tote bag. I'm going to show you first. Ooh. There we go, what does it say? Oh cool, so it's kind of like um, a Diagon Alley checklist. So it says Gringotts, Ollivanders, Pottages, Cauldron, Slug and Jiggers, apoth uh, Apothecary, Flourishing Blots, and I'm really bad at pronouncing things, Amanuensis Quills, and Hogwarts, which is not checked. So yeah, a nice black tote bag. I have so many tote bags. <laughs> but yeah, so what do you guys think of this design? It's really nice to have all of the store names on there. There's still quite a lot of store names that they could have added, but that's really cool. Man, I want to go to Hogwarts. Let's discuss their tea. So in every box you get one of these packets of tea and this is Cozy Elves Magical Drinks and Sweets. This month's or August month's tea is Neville's Handpicked Flower Tea. Oh, can you imagine? Just I can just imagine Neville picking flowers. Oh, so cute. Also, how much did Neville just glow up? Oh, this is so cute. So yeah, it really does look like a bunch of flowers. And it smells really subtle and really pretty. I wonder what this actually tastes like. So what are the ingredients? It says something I can't pronounce. Red tea, jasmine flower, and elderflower. That's nice, so it's got uh, only a few ingredients and you can literally see all of the flowers and stuff in there. That's really interesting. Oh, good old Neville. I love Neville, he's so sweet. He's like the dark horse of the entire story. Oh, I can see something really cool. I'm not gonna open this yet. You guys know what's gonna be in here. It's gonna be some sort of potion vial, which are my favorite things from these boxes. So let's carry on. I've got a packet of jelly slugs. Now I have had these before and my ultimate favorite flavors out of this is tangerine, because I love oranges, and the juicy pear ones. They are so good and oh yes. So I don't need to go to Honey Dukes for a while. And also in here, we have got a Gryffindor coaster, which is really cool. So yeah, this box must be house themed if it has a Gryffindor coaster. Did everyone else get different house things? Let me know if you subscribe to this box and you've received it and you've got a Ravenclaw one or Hufflepuff or Slytherin. I actually have one of these in my kitchen already, so I have a new one to go with it. And what are you? Oh, I actually have one of these already, but I think it's a completely different design. I've never seen these. So this is a set of four tins and they're just teeny weeny tins with a hinge that opens. I'm not gonna open these up, but there is a potions one, a platform nine and three quarters, a Quidditch one, and also, oh my goodness, that Marauders map one is 100% my favorite one. Um, these are great, especially for like traveling when you want to put little bits and bobs, whether it's medicine, jewelry, that kind of thing. If you have any other uses that these could be handy for, please do let me know down below because they're so, so cute. And we still have things. The box is still going. We've got another licensed product and this is a Harry Potter keyring which says nine and three quarters. This is so cute, absolutely adorable. I wonder if it says anything on the other side. Let's have a little look. No, it's just the front, but it's really, really nice. It's nice and heavy and yeah, cool. 
I love platform nine and three quarters. My suitcase is platform nine and three quarters and Hogwarts themed, which is pretty cool. We have two things left. I'm still saving the potion till last. So the next thing, and I do have one of these already. Um, <laughs> this, it's not this design though, which is great. So this is an A5 metal wall sign and it says Hogwarts Muggle Studies, which is really, really sweet. And it has little pinholes around the edges so that you can attach it to your wall, your door, or you could just prop it on your desk. But yeah, it's really cool because these are tin. And yeah, our Muggle Studies. I would love to sit in on a class of Muggle Studies. I think it would be really interesting. Even though clearly I already know everything there is to know about Muggles. So we have come to the end of the box, except we do have this mystery item and their sheet of goodies, which we will get to in a moment. So let's have a look. <gasps> oh, yes, this was a perfect thing to end on. This is a vial of Felix Felicis, brewed in September 1996. This is so sweet. It has gold glitter inside. Again, do not like open these and um, drink from them. They are not edible in the slightest. They ought to glue these tops on. I, I do worry if in case like kids get hold of these and try to drink it. Um, <laughs> I'm sure it's made out of safe things. I'm not sure what it smells like, but either way, do not drink. This is for display purposes only, but I love the label. And seriously, I'm getting such a good potion collection. I may have to do a video on all of my different potions, or at least a photograph on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, definitely go check me out. It is a magical place. It's my favorite social media platform. So yeah, a little bottle of Felix Felicis. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, we need to discover what this golden egg was and I'm gonna use the cheat sheet so let's have a look what it says it is Fleur Delacour's dragon egg inspired bath salt so it has death sea salt Epsom salt citric acid cornstarch organic almond oil and betanin um I guess we just empty it into the bath so I'm not going to open this but it is a bath product which is very very exciting to me Ah, oh, yes. So how many things did we get? We got 13 items. They always come through with how many items they have in this box. And yeah, so what were my favorite things? I think you guys could probably guess from my reactions. This month, my favorite things are the candle and the potion. I love this candle so much. I wish that you could smell it through the screen because it really is so beautiful. Honestly, that's, oh, it smells like fresh spring and, oh, gorgeous. I love it, I love the color and, ah, okay. My least favorite item is probably going to be either the t-shirt or the tote bag because I'm probably not going to wear or use those two in particular. But everything else was so awesome. I cannot wait to put that potion with my others and, Wow, and we're due another one of these soon, so that's exciting. As per usual, I would love to hear your thoughts about all of the items, which ones you loved, which ones you didn't really care about. In the comments down below, let's see if we agree. Also, if you would like your very own box, there is a discount code down below, which I believe is Magical Family, if you'd like to get some percent off this box, but do bear in mind, there could be delays, and I'm not responsible for any of that. <laughs> so order, as you wish and I will see you guys very soon for another one of these because I believe September's box is due very soon and I'm so excited because they do really cool handmade really unique original things in this box it was definitely worth the wait in my opinion ah <sighs> okay I will see you soon thank you guys so much for watching yeah okay I'm gonna go put my liquid look somewhere special